It's that time of day. Hi, Gary. Hello, Carl. Here we are back with Live from Turtle River. Ooh, hello, radio fans. Listen. Uh, Good morning out, out there. Let the dog out of the house and get your soft shoes on and get out in the chair and get ready for some great radio. By who? Who we got today, Carl? Boy, today we have uh, Maggie Carlson and a couple men of average height. Ah, they are as I look at them. What's their names, Carl? Well, we got uh, Ron Arsenault and Mike Tangen. Yay! And, say, this is brought to us by our great Turtle River sponsors, Castle Highlands Golf Course, The Other Place, Turtle Club, The 71 Bar, The 71 Mart, KC Gas, Prior Hardware, The Wash Shed, and... Who? Who? We got Bemidji sponsors, uh, The Security State Bank, Kelsey's As You Like It, Spalding Motors, Wes's Plumbing, The Northern Guide, and Naylor Electric. In Ten Strike, Land O'Lakes Wood Preserving, and in Black Duck, Anderson Fabric. We're real happy to have all our sponsors with us. And uh, thank you, sponsors. Thank you very, 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 very much. That's uh, six too many varies as far as I'm concerned. But let me tell you one other thing, uh, radio fans. We do have Uptown Turtle River coming at your way. And then we got that crazy and zany and wild Lester Furley. And we have a Hardly Perking with the news from Turtle River on Turtle River today. So hang in for that stuff. Yeah, do that. Let's introduce everybody, or better yet, let's have everybody introduce uh, themselves. Let's start with... Maggie Carlson. Hi, Maggie. Right here live from Turtle River. This isn't just any Maggie Carlson. This is Mrs. Carlson, the <laughs> Mrs. Carlson, Maggie Carlson, who is the teacher at Northern School, Bemidji, Minnesota. Also the first lady of Turtle River, I might add. This is a very important day for live from Turtle River because we've got the mayor's wife. Oh, I was afraid just there for a second that you were going to suggest that there weren't any other ladies in Turtle River. No, no, not, not at all. This is uh, simply a straightforward uh, uh, pitch for the mayor and his wife and uh, 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 what do we say? Uh, hello, your honorarium? Or, uh, it's just uh, fine. That'll do. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Who you got with you here, uh, Maggie? Well, I've got two excellent friends of mine, Mike Tangen and Ron Arsenal. I feel honored that they are here today. These are terrific fellas. Yeah. We've been listening to them uh, practice and you practice, and we're pretty excited about uh, all that is to come. Why don't you tell us what your first selection is going to be, and maybe we can just take right off and bring some music to our friends. The first selection is Someday Soon. Let's do it. His age is 21 Comes down from southern Colorado He is just out of the service And he's looking for some fun Someday soon Going with him someday soon My parents Rodeo. My father says he'll leave me crying. Oh, I would follow him right down the toughest road I know. Someday soon, going with him someday soon. Oh, when he comes to call my Guess it's cause he's just as wild In his younger days So blow your old blue northern Blow my love to me He's driving in tonight From California He loves his damned old rodeo As much as he loves me Someday soon, going with him someday soon.
just as wild in the younger days. So blow your old blue northern, blow my love to me. He's riding in tonight from California. He loves his damned old rodeo as much as he loves me. Someday soon. Going with him someday soon. Someday soon. Going with him someday soon. You like that song, don't you? I do. Sorry. That's a nice song. A good one to start with. <laughs> we had a discussion with. on that earlier. <laughs> I love the melody. Uh, what? How did the discussion go? Let's let's rehash the discussion. <laughs> oh, Maggie doesn't. She doesn't like the idea of just following some guy anywhere. You know. She's, yeah. So we uh, told her to just think of it in terms of uh, singing it from a male point of view. The it was female a whole point. New <laughs> awareness. <laughs> you know, you can find uh, Maggie almost anywhere in the world. I had a friend who was driving across the outback of Australia. It's a pretty broad statement, Carl. He, well, it's true. And he, the, there was a hitchhiker, and he stopped his car, and it was it was Maggie Carlson. That's absolutely true. <laughs> that was Glenn Ambrose, isn't that right? Only it was in New Zealand. Ah, well, let's see. I was close. Who but, are you following at the time, Maggie? I was all alone. Oh, good for you. <laughs> I'd like to ask you a musical question here. I wonder, we're going to talk to Ron in a moment and uh, have a chat with him. But first, Mike and Maggie, you've been doing lots and lots of children uh, uh, presentations. Uh, uh, so, and we're going to be hearing some of those today, correct? Right. Talk to us about, about that. How did you get started doing uh, children's songs and, and uh, uh, why are you doing them and how long? Tell us everything. I can, I can uh, try to make it as brief as possible. I wish I you would. You've only got about 30 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> I started... Uh, with the idea of teaching music in college and uh, student taught uh, in high school and uh, directed some junior high choruses and ended up teaching elementary music and Neat. and am working my way to the pinnacle, which is early childhood. And uh, finding good music for little children is uh, is getting easier. There's mm -hmm. a lot of it out there. Mm -hmm. And uh, I taught elementary music for a number of years and then met Maggie when I started teaching at Northern. And she's been doing music for early childhood for quite a while. And uh, so we started doing it together for our kids, and it's grown out of the school and into the community and into other areas. And, uh, mm -hmm. and so we do it uh, f to entertain the kids somewhat, and we're also doing some things teaching teachers how to teach music to kids and, uh, and daycare providers and the importance of getting music to early childhood. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's an easy sell. It's a good business to be in. Great. You don't have to push people into Well, I think um, probably a lot of our listeners, uh, including myself and uh, for sure Mr. Carl Bear, have never left childhood. So <laughs> I, I think, you know, this program is going to be right on the money for well, most yeah. anybody that's listening. Well, you know, Gary, he told me it was because it was easier to boss around short people. I don't know if that jives with I don't what know how he ever found me that. That's what, that's what my wife says, and, you know, she's been successful at that pretty much. What's, you know, what, let's have another song. What, what do you got? We're going to do a children's song we do. Uh, actually, Eric, my son, mm -hmm. brought this to light one day. We were listening to a Greg and Steve tape, and they he just kept playing this one over and over, mm -hmm. and I think I understand why after you hear the words. Take it away. Everybody has music inside, especially for you. Don't be afraid to let it out. It isn't hard to do. You don't have to be a virtuoso. It doesn't matter if you sing just so-so. There's a feeling down inside your soul, so come on. You can do it. Everybody has a song ring out just let it come right from your heart that's what it's all about music is the sound of life reaching out for love everybody has music everybody has music everybody has music inside Have to be a 
virtuoso It doesn't matter if you sing just so-so There's a feeling down inside your soul So come on, you can do it Everybody has music inside So let a song ring out Just let it come right from your heart That's what it's all about Music is the sound of life Reaching out for love Everybody has music Everybody has music Everybody has music That's a neat song. That's a neat song. You say you heard Thank that you. Uh, first because your son was excited about it. Yeah, he, he kind of could relate to that. <laughs> I you think know, he'd I, seen his mother singing to people for so long, he didn't know if he could be part of that. Yeah. And I play really... for my kids, and that's always been part of my musical life. In fact, I played for them long before I played in public, as you know, I didn't do much of that until a couple of years ago. And that's a lot of fun, and they're a great, yeah. they're a great audience. They really are. Yeah. They're great participators, too. Ron, what are you up to these days? You're uh, not, uh, you used to be uh, in our territory much, and uh, you're missed around here. Tell, tell the folks a little bit about Ron Arsenault this day, these days. I'm, uh, I'm teaching in uh, Mankato, Minnesota. I live in St. Peter, mm-hmm. uh, Minnesota, and I, in the summer I play music uh, around the state in different places, from Canada to Iowa. You were on a big circuit then. Well, it's long. Let's put it that way. Uh-huh. You, uh, before we started uh, uh, taping this show, you uh, mentioned that you're in a band or two or a number of different That's combinations. Right. Yeah, I, I actually, we have a, a group out of Mankato um, called uh, City Mouse. It's been a band since 1971. Oh, I know some, uh, at least one of the wrong... Uh, Billy Steiner. Great guitar part. player used to be with them. Uh, Lonnie Knight used Lonnie to play Knight. with them. Lonnie Knight, yeah. Gus Dewey used to play with them. Uh, they've had a history of... Uh, a lot of people that didn't play with them too long. <laughs> no, actually, uh, it's been a. I even played with City Mouse in 1974, so uh-huh. this is a, sort of a reintroduction for me to the band, and and we work around mostly around that area. Uh, you told me um, that you're going to be up here in August. Well, that's up probably already before this broadcast is going to be on the air. I think this one goes on on August 29th. Well, um, I think that's when we're going to be. I here. shouldn't have said so that. So we'll probably be here tonight. Oh. <laughs> Will you? Is that right? Say, well, everybody uh, get right on down. Down to Union Station and catch Ron Hurry Arsenault. Hurry down there, because I think I'm there. Okay. Uh, David Pingra. <laughs> that almost qualifies for the wisequack. I wonder, though, Gary, if we shouldn't tell our people that standard thing that we're required to tell because of the FDIC, whoever they are. Uh, if, uh, no, that's the FCC Deposit Corporation. Yeah. yeah, no, but that is that this live... FCC, try that. FCC? Yeah. This live radio show is... Pre-recorded. Yeah. <laughs> In... Turtle River, of course, course. the entertainment capital of the world. Say, listen, before we get too far down the road, we better be thanking some of our friends out there that uh, are making this show possible and they're sponsors of ours. Take it away. And uh, the last song was Everybody Has Music Inside, and of course, everybody has a dream, too, for their future. And that makes me think of the Security Bank and the dreams that they can help make come true. Yep. You know, uh, some people measure strength by size and success by the loudest voice, but at Security Bank, they feel that names are more important than numbers. They've earned your trust by giving you the best professional service with a personal concern. Security Bank's excellent reputation speaks for itself. Yep. From loans to checking accounts, making your banking decisions where people care. The Security Bank of Bemidji, the services of a big bank, and the security of a good friend. They're a member of the FDIC. Get on down there and uh, let them help make your dreams come true. Yep. Boy. Let's have another song, I think. So is there any other business we got to take care of at this particular moment? Nah, because I want to hear these folks sing. So do I. What are you going to do for us next? We're going to do a kid song. Okay. Surprise. Okay. Marvelous toy. Here's Maggie Carlson, Mike Tangan, and Ron Arsenault. When I was just a wee little lad, full of health and joy, my father homeward came one night and brought to me a toy. A wonder to behold it was with many a colors bright. 
And the moment I laid eyes on it, it became my heart's delight. It went zip when it moved and when it stopped, when it stood still. I never knew just what it was, and I guess I never will. The first time that I picked it up, I had a big surprise. Right on the bottom were two big buttons that looked like big green eyes. I first pressed one, then the other. Then I twisted its lid, and when I set it down again, here is what it did. It went zip when it moved, and when it stopped, when it stood still. I never knew just what it was, and I guess I never will. Well, at first March left, and then marched right, then marched under my chair, and when I looked where it had gone, it wasn't even there. I started to cry. Well, my daddy laughed because he knew that I would find. When I turned around, my marvelous toy was a chugging from behind. It went zip when it moved and when it stopped, when it stood still. I never knew just what it was, and I guess I never will. Now the years have gone by so quickly it seems I have my own little boy. Yesterday I gave to him my marvelous little toy. His eyes nearly popped right out of his head. He gave a squeal of glee. Neither one of us knows just what it is, but he loves it just like me. It still goes zip when it moves, when it stops, when it stood still. I never knew just what it was, and I guess I never will. I never knew just what it was, and I guess I never will. Boy, that's great, isn't it? Say, yeah. we have the great good fortune of having children in our studio audience today. What do you think, fans? Yeah! That's radio. And then, Quiet, kids. Yeah. Shut up. Okay, settle down. Say, don't we have to highlight one of our great Turtle River sponsors? You know what? Hmm. This is late August, but some of the best golfing occurs at this time of the year. And uh, I guess I can talk about Castle Highlands because uh, I'm a member. Holy smoke. I don't get there a lot because I'm working so hard, but I do get there. And uh, they have uh, you know, a, an 18-hole course now. And uh, brand new for this year is a driving range, uh, which opened this past spring. And uh, as I, you know, as I'm saying, the best, maybe the best time of the year for golfing is right now because uh, the, generally I think the course might be a little freer than than earlier in the year when oh, all the avid golfers are out there, wouldn't you say? That's exactly right. And I'll tell you something else. I got standing right next to me a good friend of mine. We were stationed together in the army. His name Jim Crandall. But on the way over, Jim and I drove by the golf course, and I was showing him uh, uh-huh. that new driving range and the and the greens. I'm telling you, everything looks fantastic. Yes, this they is, do. This is a super good golf course, yes, folks. It is. If you haven't played this, get out there right away. It's uh, you know a, a a point to to think about too. It has the beautiful source of the Mississippi River, Turtle River, running right through it. This is the and source of the burbling out of the swamp up by Debs is what I think is the true source of the Mississippi River. They made a mistake with the other one. Nobody cares what you think, Gary. I know, but <laughs> it's a beautiful golf course, and the Turtle River, the sor- true source of the Mississippi, uh, is uh, goes right through it. And it is gorgeous. And say, the, sh- the, the shape of the golf course is, is great. Go see Castle Highlands. Also, I wonder, do you think that this week's episode has anything to do with any event that occurred on the golf course? Uh, you mean uh, Uptown Turtle River, this episode of Uptown Turtle River? <sighs> I don't know. Welcome. Welcome to the sloth and intrigue, the glamour and the gluttony. The passion and the turtle soup of the Pearl of the North Country. Come with us now as we explore the lives and the secrets and the back closets of the people and creatures who live in Uptown Turtle River. In last week's episode, Young Glicky Finewood, Young, Innocent, Wide Eyed, Young Man, unworldly as he may be, was at the wash shed in Turtle River 
suddenly finding himself encountered by a totally disrobed and disarming Maria Mucho. Glicky Finewood, what would he do besides boost the ratings for this show? What would he do as he stared at Maria Mucho and discovered something that in his young life he had never, ever seen before? For there before him, for all the world to see, was a hangnail on the left great toe of Maria Mucho. You can imagine how a young man would feel discovering a hangnail on a totally disrobed woman. Will this, in fact, boost the ratings of Uptown Turtle River? Will Glicky Finewood finally stop being a schlemiel and take some action? Are we going to get any excitement at all out of this dilemma? Tune in next week for Uptown Turtle River. What do you think about all that business? It's, it's getting tense, this here, so, this here opera. I've got good news and, and bad news. Let's hear the... The good news is that Bill Williams, who does these segments, as you know, left Has flown off to Venus. Has, has flown off to Venus. The bad news is he left 72 episodes. Behind. Behind. <laughs> Actually, he did not leave 70, 72 episodes. This is episode number 13 that we're hearing, and I think we've got one more. Uh, at least in stock as of the date of this pre-recorded broadcast live from Turtle River under the fabulous arches, the entertainment capital of the world as you go north on Old seventy new, old 71 or New 71. It's where they meet, isn't it? Yeah. It's where everything meets. Let's have a song. Uh, what you got for us, guys? Little pig music. Oh my little pig music. <laughs> this is my favorite. This is the pig song. Isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Here's a little song about four wet pigs. Here's a little song about four wet pigs. Two of them little and two of them big. Danced all night at the big town jig. The two that were little were just half grown. The two that were big were big as a barn. Big as a barn, tall as a tree. Take them on down to the factory. Need them. Slice them into ham, chop them into hot dogs, squeeze them into spam, throw their little eyes out in the rain, pickle their feet and scramble their brains. Here's a little song about two wet pigs, leaning on a slop trough, smoking their cigs, hoping to God they'll never get big. They danced all night at the big town jig, they're hoping to God they'll never get big. Danced all night at the big town jig. I'm for it. I like it. Oh, that's pretty, ain't it? That is a very sensitive song. Well, if you're a pig or a horse or, or a donkey... I hope no one. I heard a me. jackass in there too. Did that ring any bells, Carl? I hope that the Humane <laughs> Society wasn't listening to this thing. I tell you that because we could be arrested for it. Uh, I think we got to say something about Spalding Motors. It is about that time to to talk is. cars and talk specifically Honda cars. Spalding Motors has your Honda, the Honda of your near future, not far away at all. And uh, right now they've got the brand new Honda Prelude with four wheel steering. Think about it. Boy, does it handle. Honda, if you're thinking gas mileage, think about the Honda Civic. If it's luxury and comfort, think about the Honda Accord. And when you think Honda, think Spalding Motors. They back up every Honda car with pride, and they'll give you friendship. Yes, they will. Drop in and tell Mike Howdy and reserve your Honda today. Don't just tell Mike Howdy. Tell them all Howdy and tell them we sent you from live from Turtle River. Honda at Spalding Motors. Where are they, Carl? 
They're on Highway 2. You're heading out toward the airport. They're on the left-hand side. I've been there many times. I didn't want the history. I just want to know where they are. They're on the left-hand side of Highway 2. As you're heading out toward the airport, I've been there many times. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's white friends. It's time for this week's Wise Quack. Now, here's this thing. I was listening to the, uh, the other day, and it's Oral Roberts. And you heard, I think, did you hear it? Oh, you must have heard it. Yeah, I heard he it. He said that he could raise people from the dead. Uh-huh. Well, you know what he's promised for Act 2? You're going to try to wake up the president. Uh-huh. <laughs> There it is. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, oh, come on. <laughs> well, it is live radio. We can't edit anything out because the FCC doesn't allow it. And uh, so we're not going to. Oh, we're going to have more music. We've uh, had enough of uh, this here conversation. What you going to play? Satisfied Mind. Sounds good. For Take it away. do things my way How little they know It's so hard to find One rich man in ten With a satisfied mind Now once I money mm-hmm. fortune and fame I had everything to win in life's game then one day it happened I lost every dime But I'm richer by far With a satisfied mind Now money can't buy back Your youth when you're old Or a friend when grown cold The wealthiest person is a pauper at times compared to the man with a satisfied mind Old world. Gonna leave this old world with a 
satisfied mind. We are. That's pretty. Yeah, that's Maggie Carlson and two men of average height. Well, I think uh, we got to talk about somebody. Who is it, Carl? Well, I tell you, you know, they sing the uh, satisfied mind, and it got me to thinking about the satisfaction that it brings to give a beautiful handcrafted gift, and that got me to thinking about Kelsey's As You Like It. In Bemidji. In Bemidji. I know them. They're yeah. great, nice folks, and uh, boy, does Mike make beautiful handcrafted jewelry, and uh, he's made some for me, and I know he's made some for a lot of the other people that are sitting in this room right now. And, of course, handcrafted jewelry is quality jewelry that lasts... And it's got your individual personal design so that yours is unique. And um, you get on down there and tell Mike about what you can imagine that you'd like to see on, on your hand. Because he hand. can do it. Oh, yeah. Or on the hand of somebody you love. Mm -hmm. And he'll help uh, you design it. And he'll make it for you with a, a precious stone or a diamond. or a, mm -hmm. And you'll get one of the most beautiful things you've ever seen. And, uh, and you'll have the satisfaction of having given a, a lovely gift to, to yourself or to someone, as I say, that you love. Kelsey's as you like it. Hey, you know what? Yeah. Lester just drove in. Oh, no, no, no. I mean, we've gone from telling the absolute truth to a guy who doesn't know the truth if, a, if it walked up and hit him in the head. The Eternal Rubber Society of Tall Tales and Pathological Liars now presents Believe It or Buzz Off with that princely prevaricator of fabrication, Mr. Lester Fairley. Hi there, baloney fans. You know, I'm not one to toot my own horn, but I feel it only fair to you to tell you that I was the one who gave Albert Einstein his most brilliant thought in the entire history of the universe. I was talking to Albert Einstein, you understand, about Bob Barker. You know Bob Barker, that famous master of ceremonies. Well, I said that Bob Barker was a real Bahunu Lulu. He didn't have the straight savvy of a pair of wet socks. And what I said that set Albert Einstein off was, he is an MC square. <laughs> Do you believe that? No! Well, he just took the ball and ran with it. Well, he did. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Bill Williams, wherever you are, stay there. <laughs> he is, he is, of course, uh, one of the three people, Gary and I and Bill, started this show. And we started this show because of such great musicians uh, that we have in northern Minnesota. And That's the only reason I can think of that makes any sense. <laughs> I know. It. And, of course, we got three of them here today, Maggie Carlson and Mike Tangan and Ron Arsenault. And, uh, boy, it's great to hear them. And, and when they're brought to us by some lovely people, and uh, there's another one that we want to mention, and that is the Northern Guide. It's a new newspaper. It's a weekly. It's delivered every Tuesday. Free classifieds. If you've got something you want to sell, call them. Their number is seven five one seven eight nine seven. Seven eight nine seven. They have a circulation of twenty two thousand seven hundred by direct mail in four counties, including Beltrami, Cass, Clearwater, and Hubbard. Uh, the rates are affordable, and inside you'll find all kinds of interesting ads, uh, uh, classifieds, and otherwise. And uh, you'll also find a complete entertainment section uh, with a full comprehensive TV guide. Call them, 751-7897. 751-7897. It's fair to say that every business in Turtle River has this radio show on now for this time of the day. And listen, if you want to sell something, not bad not only to be a sponsor on this show, but also to sell your ad through the Northern Guide. That's right. The Northern Guide. Oh, seven five one seven eight nine seven. And while we're begging begging, you know, we could use a couple more sponsors too. Yes, we could. And if you'd also also if you'd like to write to live from Turtle River, uh do so, because we'd like some feedback, and, uh, you know, if it's a nasty letter, we'll read it on the air. If it's a nice one, we'll keep it to ourselves. Actually, we'll read them all on the air, and we appreciate any input you as listeners can provide. If there's anybody you'd like to hear on upcoming shows, uh, write and make your suggestions. We appreciate the letters, and we look forward to getting them. So do write us care of Route 6, Box 231. Box 231. Bemidji, Minnesota. Bemidji, Minnesota. Live from Turtle River, Route 6, Box 231. 231. Bemidji, Minnesota. Boy. Oh, the other thing is, I just want to say here, just for a second, that folks from Canada, you quit sending the letters about the two-tone houses. That's been explained. You got the idea at Fort Sill, Oklahoma. I know that now. So, you know, that's enough. You guys got a song for us. Who's got the song? Who's going to sing this one? 
Uh, I'm gonna do it. Okay. Ron Arsenault. Rider in the rain. Got a gun in my holster. Got a horse between my knees. And I'm going to Arizona. Pardon me, boys, if you please. I used to be a desperado Raped and pillaged across the plains And I'm gone to Arizona Just a rider in the rain Well, he's a rider in the rain He's a rider in the rain And I'm gone to Arizona Just a rider in the rain I got a mother in St. Louis Got a bride in Tennessee And so I'm gone to Arizona With a banjo on my knee I used to work in Uncle Feed's store While he was fighting in the war And now I'm gone to Arizona Ain't gonna work for him no more Cause he's a rider in the rain He's a rider in the rain And I'm gone to Arizona Just a rider I'm the son of the prairie Of the wind that whips a plane And I'm gone to Arizona Just a rider in the rain Well, he's a rider in the rain He's a rider in the rain And I'm gone Just a rider in the rain Well, he's a rider in the rain He's a rider in the rain And I'm going to Arizona Be a rider in the rain Well, let's hear it from our studio audience. Yeah! Ron Arsenault, let me tell you something. That was pretty great. And uh, just like the big FM stations, you're going to get two for the price of one uninterrupted by commercials. So and they're coming up next. Now, remember, if you're going to step outside, have a cigarette, get your hand stamped. We're not going to let you back in. Here's Maggie. Well, it just brought to mind my cowboy song. I've always wanted to be a cowboy. What's the name of this one? This one's called Song of Wyoming, I think. It's oh. called Song of Wyoming. Okay. Wyoming. Hold on a second, would you? My dog's outside barking. Is he? Shut up! <laughs> We're you. doing a radio show. Yeah. We can't have barking Actually, dogs outside. Actually, barking dogs in it, so he's right with it. Okay, take it away. Well, I'm weary and tired. I've done my day's riding. My time is rolling my way. The sky's on the I 
watching the river roll by. Here comes that big old prairie moon rising, shining down bright as can be. The wind in the sage just sounds like heaven singing the song of Wyoming for me. Well, it's whiskey. Lonesome old doggy am I Waking up on the range Lord, I feel like an angel Feel like I almost could fly Here comes that big old prairie moon rising Shining down bright as can be up on the hill that coyote is singing The song of Wyoming for me The song of Wyoming for me I got to hear from the studio audience on that one. That, that's beautiful, Megan. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Listen, this great music from a, a really nice person. I'd say a sunny person. Yeah. A sunshiny person. Always has a smile, a friendly word. There's my I'll phone. Would you take over, Carl? I'll take care of this. Uh, you know, it's another great example of why uh, Live from Turtle River Radio exists. Is the great music that exists in northern Minnesota. And uh, it's great to have uh, Ron Arsenault and Mike Tang and then Maggie Carlson with us. And I suppose the, the radio audience knows because they've been listening to me, putting up with me, probably is a better way for some weeks, that I've been... This thing about Jim and Tammy Baker has been weighing pretty heavily on my mind. And I had a dream last night, and I was asked to give this message to Jim and Tammy Baker. A voice spoke to me, and so here it is, Jim and Tammy. I know you're listening. You love the show. You're right. He is coming, but he's pretty darned upset. So, anyway... There that is. Okay, enough of that, enough of that, enough of that. It's time to insert our typical, normal piece of Turtle River news from 1903. Where do you find this stuff? This one comes out of the Sportsman's Eden, Turtle River, Minnesota. It's a little booklet that I picked up. And it talks just briefly, honestly, briefly about the International Hotel W.E. Hyatt proprietor. And it goes like this. It says, this was written in 1903 now. And it says, in the three years of his proprietorship, Mr. Hyatt has made the International one of the most popular hotels hotels in this section. It is a large two-story frame building with nicely furnished rooms and clean beds. This is in Turtle River? Oh, yeah. They set a first-class table. Hmm. Mr. Hyde is obliging and courteous and possesses hosts of friends throughout the timbered com- country. Reasonable, ter- reasonable terms. And, Carl, this one is a special interest, this last statement to you and I. It's a special attention given transients. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we're, we're just so, passing through. Yes, so. we are. Turtle River used to be just a booming metropolis back in the days of the logging here in this country. There was a huge sawmill down there, and uh, all of Pine in this territory kind of went through that sawmill down there. And you can still swim on Turtle River Lake in certain places, in one in particular that I, I'm going to keep secret all to myself. Is where a sawmill site used to be, and there's lots and lots of interesting pieces of, of uh, cut-off ends of logs that have been in the water for 80 years or however, 70, 80 years. Let's say 80 years. I, I 80 cut myself years. a couple times on some saws down there when I was swimming, so you're probably right. You did, Ron, huh? A couple was, times. Thank you, Ron. That was fantastic. <laughs> uh, I want to say this. The Turtle River, of course, is not only the great music capital of the world because of the lo- location of uh, Audio Camera Studios, right where we're sitting here today, the, friends. The plush Audio the Camera plush Studios. The plush sumptuous uh, uh, studios. But it's also the gateway to everything important in this world, including two of our finest sponsors. And the first, it just head right up the road from here. And the first one you're going to get to is Land Lakes Wood Preserving. And let me tell you something about mm-hmm. that. Yep. Mother Nature does a great job of making trees, friends, but she doesn't make all-season wood. Land Lakes Wood Preserving in Ten Strike does, does make all-season wood. And the way they do it is they've got this special kind of a osmos pressure-treated thing that they do. And they treat the lumber, all kinds of lumber, like landscape materials, plywood, decking, siding, posts and poles, just to name a few. And by this osmos pressure-treating process they put it through, this wood uh, has lasting beauty and it's free from rot and decay and from odor. 
And uh, so if you've got uh, something that you're going to put outside, particularly that's going to touch the ground, whether it's flower boxes or decks or docks right. or any of that kind right. of stuff, this is the stuff for it. And magic beyond magic, I can tell you something else. They'll help you plan it. In other words, you want to oh, put, yeah. put a deck on your house. That's right. You want to put a deck on this studio. That's right. And it's not a bad idea, by the that's way, because right. it's awful hot in here, Gary. That's right. You can go up there, and they'll help you draw the plants. So anyway, you go to Turtle River. You go right through Turtle River. You end up in Ten Strike. You got your Land O'Lakes wood preserving. From there, you go to where? You go to Black Duck, and you see the great folks at Anderson Fabrics. If you're doing some decorating or redecorating this year, I've got a tip that will save you some dollars. Anderson's Factories factory outlet in Black Duck does windows, bedspreads, fancy headboards and shades, tablecloths, pillows, and a whole lot more. And they make it so simple. Just bring them your window measurements or whatever you need made, and they'll help you select a style of fabric that's right for your home and your pocketbook. We're talking custom-made now. You pick the style. You pick the style of fabric. Anderson's will make it up for you, and you won't believe their prices. Stop and see them. And uh, you can call up there and, and find out about the monthly specials. That's Anderson's Fac- Fabrics Factory Outlet in bustling downtown Black Duck. Great people up there. Hi, Chris Wagner. How you doing today? We hope you're listening in and uh, enjoying this show today, as we hope all you listeners are enjoying this show. And pass on to your neighbors that live from Turtle River is on the air 11 a.m. every Saturday. Runs till noon. KKBJ. KKBJ 1360 a.m. We're real happy to be here, and, and we hope you're with us. And, you know, as we sit here right now, how would you describe uh, the weather without actually looking at the title of the next song? Uh, today's weather, I'd, I'd classify it, uh, well, the day of the, of the recording is kind of semi-cloudy, rainy sometimes. Windy and warm. Windy and warm. Well, we'll buy that. Okay. Is somebody going to play this, or are we just going to talk about it all day? Oh, they're going to well, play this is absolutely a special request. Oh, thanks. By so the mayor himself. Oh, the first lady really? sing it? Does the, is the first lady at Turtle River singing it? Nope. Who's singing it? His this, favorite uh, musician, Ron Arson. Ron Arson. Oh, I, I like believe. that mayor. I wish I could vote for that guy down where I <laughs> He's a great guy, isn't he? Yes. Here we go, radio fans. Ron Arsenault, Windy and Warm. the news that proves that no news is good news. The latest from the turtle capital of the North Country. Turtle River Today with your host, Hardly Perking. Uh, good evening, uh, good afternoon, or good morning, depending on when you got up today. Uh, 
Uh, this is Hardly Perking, and uh, I would like to take this moment to uh, announce to you uh, a, a sad and possibly devastating fact to all of, uh, all of the members of the Hardly Perking fan club. In spite of all of the vast fortune we've spent on T-shirts and the little Hardly Perking wristwatches that uh, a lot of you are wearing, and that's not including the uh, Hardly Perking monogrammed socks and the Hardly Perking, of course, monogrammed uh, 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 Q-tips. Uh, that you have out there. Uh, your host, Hardly Perking, has had a job offer uh, uh, to take over the uh, the Johnny River, uh, the Johnny Carson. <laughs> Almost said Johnny Rivers. Boy, would he be upset. The Johnny Carson show at night. Uh, I have not decided uh, uh, whether or not I'm going to accept that position, but I just thought I'd let you know that uh, they are thinking of canning old Johnny and uh, putting Hardly, Hardly Perking uh, in his place. Personally, I think it's a uh, brilliant stroke of genius on their part, and if they offer me the big bucks, uh, it's bye-bye Turtle River. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll let you know next week. Uh, in the news today, uh, a bunch of people did okay. Uh, a couple of folks got robbed, and uh, some guy knocked, got knocked out, but he's all right, too. And in sports, some people won, some people lost. Uh, and in world events, that's uh, pretty much the same as it was last week. Uh, uh, some people say it's getting better, and some people say it's getting worse. In the weather today, uh, chances are it's going to get dark tonight and light again tomorrow. This is uh, Hardly Perking uh, for Turtle River today. Hello there, Carl. What do you think? I thought it was absolutely great, and it proves that no news is good news, news when it's hardly when it's perking. Hardly perking. Boy. I know it. Well, listen, we got one more sponsor we got to talk about before we hear some more music from these friends and end another joyous day of live from Turtle River. And who would that be about? That's about my friend Wes Seitz and Ed Seitz from Wes's Plumbing. Great stuff. For commercial and residential plumbing, plumbing and remodeling, septic, septic system installation, septic system designers, septic tank pumping and maintenance, state certified people, go see Wes's Plumbing. If you've got a drip in your house to whom you are not related... I got one. Go I see Wes's plumbing. <laughs> He's sitting right here beside me. Hi, Carl. I'm I don't know why you talk to my friend Jim like that. <laughs> Four master plumbers in the shop. That's a family-owned business. They've been there since 1964. They're located on Old Highway 71 North in Bemidji. That's Wes's plumbing. Call 751-9710. 9710-751-9710. Oh. Oh. West is Plumbing. Fantastic people. And boy, are we absolutely privileged today to have three of the greatest folks and fine musicians uh, here with us. Uh, Maggie Carlson and, of course, a couple of men of average height. Mar oh, Ron Arsenault and thank you. Mike Tangan. Thank you. Thank you. That's the group name, friends. I'm not making fun of these people. They asked me to call them that. Do us the song. My favorite radio song. When you're driving into town with the dark clouds above you, dial the number. It's bound to love you. Oh, honey, you turn me on. And I'm a radio. I'm a country station. I'm a little bit corny. I'm a wild flower waiting for you. I'm a broadcasting tower waiting for you. And I'm sending Because you don't like weak women, you get bored so quick. You don't like strong women, because they're hip to your tricks. It's been dirty for dirty down the line, and you know I come when you whistle when you're loving and kind. If you've got too many doubts, if there's no reception for me, then tune me out for Sonny. Who needs a static? It just hurts the head. You wind up cracking and the day goes dismal from breakfast funny to the sign of prayer. What a sorry face you have to wear. I'm gonna tell you again now if you're still listening there. You're driving in the town with the dark clouds above you. Who would dial the number? Who's bound to love you? You're lying on the beach with the transistor going. Kick off the sand, fly sunny, the love's still flowing.
Say that again, Carl. Super fine music. Maggie Carlson, Mike Tang, and Ron Arsenault. We're going to do one more song, but uh, this is the end of another day except for that one song. And we want to say thanks to the radio audience for joining us here on KKBK yes. for Live from Turtle River. And thanks to our great sponsors up here in Turtle River, Castle Highlands Golf Course, the other place, the Turtle Club, the 71 Bar, yep. the 71 Mart, yep. KC Gas, Prior Hardware, the Wash Shed, and the many other sponsors that we've talked to you about are in Bemidji and Ten Strike and mm-hmm. Black Duck. Uh, live from Turtle River's theme song, Loons One, is available on Jim Miller's marvelous third and long cassette album and may be found at all local music stores. Get yours today. Live from Turtle River is a Turtle River Radio digital entertainment production. Join us next week at 11 a.m. on KKBJ 1360 AM radio. You guys got one more song for us that we can take it out on. What are you going to do for us? It's kind of about a little town, you know, like Turtle River. Like Turtle River? It's also a time we never get up. That's right. <laughs> Ooh, time we never get up. I didn't up. know there was another town yeah. like Turtle River. <laughs> Can you guess? This Do it early. for us. <laughs> the dark night one was called early they sure named it right Ooh, we ain't the morning light pretty when the dew is still heavy so bright and early my home on the range it's a one horse town so Dew is still heavy, so bright and dark.